Welcome, race fans, to Motocross Deschambeau. This is round nine of the Canadian Motocross Championships just west of Quebec City in the gorgeous forests of Deschambeau, Quebec. Motocross racers from across the country attending the amateur championship here, and the rock star girls are ready to take care of your business. Presented by Motovan.com, this is the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. MX2 pilots in staging, getting ready to go out onto parade. Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth. As we set up for round nine, Brian's season's come to a close, but we've got a fantastic day to race motocross. And let's have an overview of this unbelievable motocross track here in Deschambeau. You nailed it, Travis. This place is spectacular. It's a nice, sandy, rich, loamy soil underneath a bit of hard pack so they can skitter around. A lot of off cambers, elevation changes, and this place gets rough, and there is big hucking jumps out here. Great images from the Hills production video drone. Let's go back to last week, round eight, Riverglade. Oh my goodness, first corner. Who got the hooks? Yeah, I think Ooh. it was the number 164, but then the gun went down. Oh, oh Travis, that kid is tough. He's came back to win the second moto, but Moffafire had his way with work and fought hard with Dakota Alex as well. And young Dylan Wright, always a shining light in his class, but Alex took the first moto win. And he got the World Distributed Triple Crown second moto hole shot. That was his first win of the season, Brian. But he had his hands full with the gun, who did not like going down in that first moto. Took the lead early. Dylan Wright, very strong. Muffin buyer trip to the clinic, not looking good in that second moto. Samples came back negative, but the 20 falls down, throws away his podium <laughs> chance in that second moto. Alex has a sample, but it was all the gun. Cole Thompson winning that second moto. Third overall of the day, there was Alex first and Wright second. KB, let's get to our points in the MX2 class. After eight of 10, the gun up front, little muff right, knotted and worth your top five. Those guys all on fire. Then it's Pettis, Riley Gallup, Hayden Halstead, Dakota Alex, and Davey Frazier. All right, let's get set to go. MX2 pilots going out onto parade. Mark Travers and Brian Coster ready to deliver. Welcome back to Motocross Day Chambeau in the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. The lovely Rockstar Emily bringing that Moto One board across. My goodness, is she focused? And here comes RJ, 30 board, Paul Kingsley. Let's get this thing going, Fats. Rockstar Julia with the board. There's Stella and L flanking her. Of course, Kinger with that series of watches, making sure all the dials, configurations, and the camera button are in operating order. This first MX2 moto will be brought to you by RoyalDistributing.com, sponsors of our illustrious hole shot and Canada's power sports leader. As RJ goes to five, my goodness, she's looking good today. As always, Travis, as always, there's Cole Thompson, just a few in on the inside. It's a shorter shoot than last year into that high speed left. Riders sweep wide, grabbing gears, Travis. Who's going to get that Royal Distributing hole shot? Let's go on board with the double fist pump. That is the number 36 FXR Husqvarna two stroke of Davey Frazier, the East Boy. My goodness, on the inside, the number 47. That's the GA Checkpoint Yamaha of Dylan Della places in the lead. Brian. Awesome for Dylan. And then the four of Thompson made a nice outside pass. I think the 36 of Fraser was so stoked with double fist bump, he Whoa. left the door open for Della Brace. And then the 164 of the Kodaks has a peak. Good defense now for Frazier. Little M on the inside as we go on board the number 18 GDR Honda of Brad Nodded into this back section. Always a lovely place to race motocross plane. Flowing corners. Great dirt out here. Yeah, the fans can't really see that corner, but it's two great lines for passing, and they come out of that quad section, and then this little single here, and this part, very steep. Right there where Tommy went down, that's a steep, steep part of racetrack into this Cowie right hitter and climbing up to the Yamaha right. This is a sweet new section for 2016. That's it, Brian. I love the addition here. A little bit more time and very technical in that section. The number four, Cole Thompson, makes the pass on Della Place on that quad into the new Cowie section. He's in lead. Della Place in second. The number 17 of Dylan Wright in third. Frazier on the inside in fourth. Little Muff running oh. it wide. And it looks like the 164 of Dakota Alex may have fallen back a place or two. Well, you can see Fraser gets a wheel spin and now Alex gets in on the inside. That lower Kawasaki turn and then they do this dynamic 
double line, fast sweeping berm, and then they drop into this Marinoff camber. The two closest corners on the track are those left handers, both off camber, the Cowie and the Marin corner. That is where a lot of passes will be made. And you made a great point about saying how difficult this track is based on the off cambers in the corners. There's options all over the place into this TCX section oh. that gets really rough because of the hipper on the inside. Everyone sweeps wide. So this track is already providing some great racing. And here comes the gun on the big Ooh. double. There it is. Not too many MX2 bikes doing it. And Thompson does it in the lead. And you hear the fans with their appreciation there. Oh, man, that is a huge puck. And Thompson does it on lap one. Gains a good second and a half. Easy there. A lot of the top 450 riders jumping that handily. But you're right. Tommy Gunn, the only MX2 rider I saw do it. Back on board with Nada for the start. Look at Della Place on the wide wow. side. You see the number 36 of Frazier get that road distributing hole shot. Great images there. Let's pop back to that two-stroke of Frazier. Great jump he got, Fabs. Man, Travs, that Moto Van helmet cam is spectacular. But there is Frazier on that two-stroke. And that fist pump is his patented hole shot maneuver. But with that, he kind of <laughs> opens the door and gets off his game and opens the door for wow. Della Place. And there is Dylan, 47. He is in the running for one of the most improved or surprised riders of the year. He's really come into his own this year in MX2. Dynamite Western BC rider, a young kid that risk loves racing motocross out yeah. here in his own dime, so he's in the mix. But right now, the battle looks like it's for second place with the 17 of Dylan Wright and the number 15 big steel box KTM of Little M. And that is Little Muff or Moffin Diver or Moffin Diver, whichever you prefer. But the yellow uh, Yamahas, that's new for this weekend. That is that 60th anniversary yellow livery on that Yamaha. But here comes Little M <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Beautiful lines through that split rhythm course, Brian. Some riders going on the inside. I love the speed that he was carrying on the outside, Little M. Lots of lines going up here into the wood section. And there is that quad. Tommy Gunn just tripling right now. He's got a big lead to this nice table. And then down this dynamic drop away. See braking bumps forming on this track already. Here comes Moffenbeier, solid in second. And yeah, Moffenbeier hits those bumps dreadfully. Lots of ways through there. Nice little line there for Dakota Alex. The number 20 of Jess Pettis sitting comfortably in fifth place on that Rockstar FXR Yamaha. Familiar faces in the top five right now. Back to the number 18 of Brad Nodden. He has made a few passes as he comes through the wide side of that tree section. A few of the spectators now making their way up. Great visuals in here to the number 36 two-stroke of Frazier. Checking back right now. There's the 34 of Rosina who's got some issues with that front number plate. And the 351 of Grandal, the American that's up racing this weekend. The 34 of Ozina has been a great addition to this Eastern swing of the MX2 Nationals, a top 10 regular guy sponsored by the farm on that two-wheel Kawasaki. Good to see, but battling throughout the field. Here comes Dakota Alex on Dylan Wright. Wright has a look over. He's going to have some good defense in this right-left combination. Yeah, this is a tight button hook, and riders on the inside are able oh. to push wide. You saw it right there. Oh. Excellent defense for the number 17 of Dylan Wright. Nice to see Dakota Alex up the mix. Oh, and the little cross. Over. Here's that option line, Brian. Alex had so much speed on the outside. He was committed to the pass and right to the door. Oh, now he gets it right oh. back. A little tip for tap. And look at Wright, barely loses any time. Stays right on the gas, flat tracking on the outside of the firm and then up the hill. Wright's got some speed. Check the two owners on Wright because they're full on the back side. Let's go back to the replay. The inside to outside defense, you're right, totally sauced them. Wow, man, oh man, and now this is where Dakota Alex just says, I've had enough, and just takes a bull by the horns on the inside and just says, you want to play that way, Dylan? Bang. I can play that way, too. And then a nice recovery on the outside for right, man. Oh, man, that kid, that kid, both these kids are phenomenal. Talent, again, back to the rhythm section. Now the 164 of Alex on that Fox KTM is working up on the fly KTM of Sean Moffenbeier in second place. Thompson has gapped. This oh. little three back oh, issue for Little Muff up into that KTM corner. Moffenbeier duffs that burn, opens the door for Alex. So there's three KTMs leaving this race. Not bad for the Orange Brigade. You better believe it. Coming out of that back section of the quad, Alex has gotten by Moffenbeier. You saw that mistake on the way in. But right now, right is the danger man. A battle for second place with three key players up front. This is what the fans here at Nationable have come to see. It was a whole week of the Grand National Amateur Championship. So a good crowd on hand. And there goes Moffenbeier up the inside. That's a dynamic spot to pass when you carry speed up. And then you come into this double triple. 
This corner has options, and now they go down into this gnarly, gnarly section. My goodness, it is so deep, and if you get offline here, wow. if you go, oh, 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 that's what happens! Right, <laughs> <laughs> Kerry, tons nice. of speed. He thought he had Little Lem on the outside, but Mockelfire comes back, and some serious connection there, Brian. We've talked about the MX2 class and how they love to bang bars. Nobody likes to bang them more than right, that's for sure. Right ain't happy. He's getting a little bit taken advantage of out here. He's getting slapped around a little bit by these boys. Here comes right. Moff goes wide, trying to cut in. Right's like, I got you. And Moff says, I don't wow. think so. And Moff is a, a tough guy with a mitt full of throttle. A bit of a bulldog out there, but good on right to stay on two wheels as Moff and Bayer now getting the white flag. Last lap, sitting third. Alex second with a bit of a gift with Moff and Bayer's screw up up in that top. Right. It is amazing when you think about the top players in this class, how week after week, round after round, they get together. I guess not surprising when you think about the talent in this class. To our leader, the number four KTM Canada four-back racer, that's Cole Thompson in the lead on his final approach. Look at the, the number of people lining the fences around here, Brian. They love their motocross here in Quebec, and they love the number four of Cole Thompson. Woo! First MX2 moto win. Welcome back to Deschambault, race fans. Ball shot winner, Davey Fraser, pretty stoked. Let's see if we can get the triple crown in the second moto. To the Yamaha leaderboard, first MX2 moto. You know your top three. Wright finishes fourth, Pettis fifth, Levin Fraser in sixth, Weston Rosina, Grundall, Jason Benny, and Zeal Fielder. A fast addition to the series, the 164 Dakota Alex. Dakota, great starts. You're riding really well in Canada. What a pass here to get Mothfire in the last lap. Was that planned or what? Well, yeah, for sure. I didn't get off to the greatest start at that time, so I had made a lot of passes, and uh, yeah, it's tough to pass out there, and uh, so I kept picking guys off, and I had to make some aggressive passes there at the end, and uh, yeah, I just got on the inside of uh, right, and then on the for second place, I just kind of went on the outside, going to a turn of uh, Maffenbeier, made six. So I was happy about that. The number 15, Little Muff, they call him, Sean Maffenbeier, buddy. What a moto, man! You had second right to the last lap. Lappers were a challenge. You think you got some for Alex in that next one? Uh, I think so. I mean, I just got to put myself up there on the on the start and and uh, you know just keep doing my thing, riding my own race, and make sure I'm hitting my marks and and working around those lappers the best I can. That kind of that last one kind of got me there with the lappers. So just got to make better decisions. And I think I'll be right there. MX1 class. Let's go back to round eight at the Riverglade MX Park. First MX1 moto. Look at this pair of KTM's. Battling far too far. Unless he makes a quick pass on Medallia to get into third. Best battle on the track was Metcalf and Medallia, but it was all about mud flaps. The kingpin winning the first moto pass. Looking good, and then Millie Sats gets that second moto pole shot racing hard. Whoa. And then a little bit of bare knuckle fist fighting with a pair of Rockstar teammates there. And then Metcalf goes high side, he's skittering off the track. Gurky was fast in that moto, came back and passed Alessi and Benoit to get in the second place. But once again, it was the 118 of Millsaps with a clean sweep at Riverglade. Great rider and a great crowd. Excellent stage, always a blast to be in Moncton. Let's go to qualifying for today's race, the number 800 of Mike Alessi with the number one, Millsaps number two. That is a bit of a mix-up and good confidence for Alessi. I was out walking the track during qualifying and he was just putting on a show. But gotta love this man, Tyler Medallia, third fast, bettering a whole host of factory stars, including Brett M. Metcalf. But everybody is here to see the fifth fastest qualifier, the number 11, the homeboy, Kevin Benoit. Let's get to our points in the MX1 class. After eight of 10, your top five looks like Millsaps, Gurky, Metcalf, Alessi, and Benoit. After that, Traz, we've got Medallia solid. How about Clayson, Fat Yotes with that injury? Then it's Meston and Bergatola. Well, and missing, of course, Colt Fasciati, as you said, with the injury, will not be racing today. MX1 Pilots going out onto parade. We're getting ready. Gate drop is next. It's going to be, as you say, a beauty. Welcome back to the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. This is Motocross de Chambeau, and that is the lovely Rockstar L. My goodness, She's all being, the... she's, she's being creeped. Well, between Rob Hill and Paul Kingsley, there's cameras everywhere, Fabs. You gotta be careful. This first MX1 moto will be brought to you by Yamaha, because Yamaha revs your heart. Back to Emily, 30 to five. Let's head back to the line, Brian. 40 MX1 pilots getting ready to do battle, waiting for that five to go sideways. And we've got a squirrel out on the track, Brian. Rob Hill and the Osmo Cam getting that final shot. And the gate is down, Brian. Coming to that first corner. Who's gonna get that real distributing hole? Shot. Wow, look at Benoit sweep wide and just 
tucked back in across the white line, but it is the kingpin, the 118 of Davey Millsop, who is the shot. And our fastest qualifier, the number 800, Mike Gillespie with a dynamite serve, but he gets busted on the inside by the number one of Matt Gurney. Oh. oh, and now we've got a full pile up on that inside left-hander. Wow, Metcalf drops it, and not a good place to lay it down with the whole pack. Look at Medallia getting creative on the inside. Gurt can't even get his bike going. He stalled right out. So we're gonna see him play catch up. And look at Metcalf making up for that little mistake, passing his way. I think he's right back up into third already. On board the number 50, St. Wow. Cesar Yamaha of Tim Trombley. The big fellas, they come up into the back section. Dynamite lines out here as we see the number 21 of Kyle Swanson with a great start and the 78 of Michael Fowler. Fowler right good out of Pennsylvania. Wow. The 21 on the 2-2 Cool Oils San Antonio, Texas Yamaha is Swanee, but there comes Metcalf on the inside of Meston. Swanee, that is fourth. Then there's Swanee, then there's Trombley, Fowler, all mixing it up. Yamahas are way up front in this moto. Great start for the number 28 of Nesson. We've been talking about how amazing he has been all yeah. season. A very improved rider, if you will. But you can't forget about the 21 of Kyle Swanson. He wasn't even anywhere in the mix at the beginning of the season, and now he's working in the top 10 almost every race. It's tough for Swanson being a privateer. He doesn't have a whole lot of backing, driving himself to all these nationals. Of course, being a U.S. rider, a little foreign up here, although he's got some time in Canada. He was on that Devils Lake Yamaha team last year where a lot of the details were covered. Down into the Marine corner, very tough. Alessi now has Metcalf on him again, and we've seen Metcalf Parker. Biggest jump on yeah. the track, Brian. Everyone's been talking about it all weekend long, and our two front runners on the KTM are busting it out large. So is Alessi, and so is the number three of Brent Metcalf. I would imagine the majority of the MX1 pilots are able to do it because of that power plant. Back on board with Trombley as he gets inside on Meston. Just got past Swanson, so Tim Trombley getting very aggressive as Swanson actually triples there. On board with Tim Trombley. Gets pulled there by Medallion and some of the front runners, and then oh. Trombley gets right back in the mix. Loving that onboard action. The 11 of Benoit just getting back on track in time, enough to hack off the 800 of Alessi. Two Rockstar Yamahas clicking it off, and then many went down. Back to the number three Rockstar Yamaha of Brett Metcalf. Looks like he's got by the 800 of Mike Alessi. That's 3-4. Here's our lead package. Still pretty close. Benoit in tow as they come into that Marin corner. Choppy, lots of options, but it's a mess down there. Oh, oh what a lovely correction from the 11 of Benoit. <laughs> Bit of a kicker, and you can see how saucy that corner was on the inside. Very rough, very deep sand, and a treacherous corner takes prisoner. Battle for seventh is starting to heat up. Gurky coming all the way back, triples into the outside. Not seen many riders triple there, and then you had to cross over that berm. Hit this table and then drop into this Cowie corner, which has some lines. Swanson now has some company. Great execution wow. for the five. Factory Thor Husqvarna of Tyler Medallia and Travis. Medallia has just been getting faster and faster with every weekend since he got that confidence at his home track at Pleasant Valley, Nova Scotia. Medallia used that inside line to get by Swanson, and then Gurky goes inside on the next corner to get by Swanson oh. as well. And both of those riders, Medallia and Gurky, were involved in that oh. third turn pileup. So they've been slicing and dicing to get back in the mix. Man, Benoit looking good, but boy, did you see Kirk go over that crest, just beat on the pegs. He is just, when he goes down at the start of a race, he is possessed. The whole moto. Uh-oh, hand up for the 800. Mike the bike qualifying fastest, sitting in third place, fourth place, and now he's signaling off track. Not good for the Cowie Monsters, but they have had their difficulties this year. The number 11 of Kevin Benoit was looking forward to this round, Brian. He loves his track. He's been decimating the field over the past couple years in MX2. Yeah. You knew he was gonna be fast, and he's pushing it right now to keep in touch with our leader, his teammate, the 118 of Millsap. Back to the number five of Tyler Medallia, Cards Canada, Thor Husqvarna. He's gotten by the 57 of Tim Trombley, and here here comes the Gerkman. Gerkenheim is in sixth right now, making a play on Trombley. Unbelievable pass there off camera that Medallion made on the big man. And of course, Tim Trombley, a world snowcross champion. Great to have him back on two wheels where he started. Look at these opposite lines. Oh, there Gerke goes inside as Trombley swings wide. That's right, Brian. Doesn't get a lot of time on the motocross bike, but you can see him out here in the mix. He has the skills. Yeah. He's got the body. Oh, there's that big quad that we talked about up in the back section, and both of the KTM pilots are doing it. Gorgeous. 
buttering the downside of that. MX2 riders coming up a little short, but these higher horsepower 450s able to downside that. So this is fifth place up for grab. Tyler Medallia merging on to the start straightaway. Excellent crowd on hand, going for a tear off. Almost looks like Medallia's out of tear off. Looks like he was kind of doing that old uh, windshield wiper maneuver on those goggles. Interesting when you see this track, some parts of it are really wide and the other parts narrow down like most motocross yeah. tracks. Maybe a little one line in areas, but there are options like this splitter right here. I love it. A sweet part of the racetrack to open things up a bit. Riders crisscross. Gurkey uses it to the advantage. But I like the aggression on Medallia cutting back over. This battle's not over yet. We've seen Medallia make some great passes. And look at the width here. Different options into that wood section where we had the problem with the lesson. There is that gorgeous, big, gigantic wow. double. One of the biggest jumps I've seen in a long time. And look at how Benoit has closed the gap on Millsap. You were talking about during practice and qualifying, not many guys were doing it, even though the lift was better then. Yeah, they tried to round it out to make it safer, so basically no one was jumping it, and these guys are jumping it anyway. Clayson, solid in fifth on that redemption. Big steel box KTM, he has been solid here. Very confident all weekend going out to sing. I'm gonna jump that thing he did it on the first lap. Interesting, the number 118 of Davey Millsaps, again, like we talked about, has not ridden this track before. Benoit, a lot of laps out here. So right now, Flaps is feeling the pressure. There's no question about it. Yeah, and of course, Benoit has a little bit of a feel for this terrain, but it is the same for everyone. And Millsaps, a consummate professional, and here is the pressure from Benoit. We see Metcalf in third, getting the white lap flag, but look at the 11 of Benoit coming on strong. Millsaps getting roosted by some lappers. Look at Benoit, he has got some lines out here. He does, but he's gonna have to take something different in order to get past Millsaps, because right now, Millsaps is riding the fast line. Yeah, Millsaps knows where to push and where to pull. Easy coming into this turn and then working on his acceleration, getting that outside line dialed in and over another one of these dynamic tabletops. A great spot to pass. We've seen a lot of passing made from the inside. Benoit opting out. I think, you know, last lap, these guys are getting tired. These are long motos. So Benoit, as much as he wants to win this thing, it's gonna be tough to pass with only about five, six corners left. Well, he knows a second in the first moto is almost as good as a win, Brian, because it's a two motor score for the overall. A lot of these corners are go for dunes-ish when I'm looking at this. The way that the sand is setting up, maybe not definitive lines moving, and there's that gorgeous quad. Is it a quad, it's a double, I don't know, it's just gigantic. They're hitting it on the last lap, which is pretty sweet, and they're getting around the lap Mike Alessi, who has pulled off graciously. A, a tough moto for Mike and that Cowie squad. Here comes the checkered rock star finishing line, Davey Millsap, first photo win at Deja Bowl, which, and there's so many great tracks on the series now, but this one has to rank amongst one of my faves. To the Yamaha leaderboard, we know our top three. How about Gurky from way back to fourth? What a ride. Then it's Clayson, Medallia, the big man, Trombley, Swanee hangs in tough. Then it's Peters and Keelan Meston in 10. In the impound with the number 118, the kingpin. Davey Millsaps gets the whole shot, but probably one of the toughest wins you've had so far this season with Kevin Ben right on your heels the whole moto. Yeah, you know, it was, it was definitely good for Kevin. It's, uh, obviously, it's nice for me to get the whole shot and, and, and us be one and two, and it, it was fun for sure, you know. It's like, you know, I know Kevin's a clean rider, and this is his hometown, and, and uh, you know, the track's kind of sketchy, so it was really hard to push on it, and, and I got bigger things to worry about than, uh, than a moto win right now. It's, you know, more, uh, more of a championship, so if he was on me the whole time, I was cool with it, and, and uh, you know, just riding, riding a good race, man. It was fun. With the number three of Brett Metcalf, third place, first MX1 moto here from Deschambeau. Bit of a quiet moto. You had that incident off the start, got into third place with a pass on Alessi, and kind of rode your own race, didn't you? Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. You know, I had a decent start. Um, unfortunately, the second turn, it was just a big bottle up, and I went down. I think Matt went in behind me, so after that, you know, Mike uh, was riding well. I was able to get him, get by him, and then I was lonely. It was kind of um, not boring, but it was a little lonely, so I was looking around at the crowd, really. It was kind of fun, but the Rockstar OTS of Yamaha bikes working good, and I just hope we can come out a little bit of the next moto and, and uh, challenge for the, for the up front. Nice ride, Medi. There is L getting this crowd going. Stick around for Moto2 MX2. You don't want to miss it. This is Motocross Deschambeau in the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth as we get set for MX2 Moto2. The lovely tall glass of Rockstar Stella with that 30 board up. Sir Paul and his watch. 
This second MX2 motor will be brought to you by Honda. Be a daredevil, Fabs, and ride red. Why not? Great motorcycles and great support with the Gold for Dunes. Honda Stella goes to five. Riders focusing down on the gate traps. Let's see if Privateer Fraser can snare that triple crown. The gate is down, Brian, coming in that short left-hander. The time of peak looks like the 164. That's the Fox KTM of the Code Alex with that rule distributing hole shot. Nice drop for Alex, the 36 of Fraser right there, just a fraction out of getting the triple oh. crown. Oh, and then we've got, looks like, is that, oh, Benny hits the back of Pettis, causes the log jam. We've got Arsenal and then Lalonde down. So a huge traffic jam in turn number two. It was actually turn three in MX1, so that corner causing problems off the start. Think about it, 40 riders busting in there. We got a slow right down issue. Back to our leader, 64, Dakota Allen, up into the trees. Frazier second, and it looks like the 17 of Dylan Wright in third with Thompson in tow. Two MX101 Yamaha's there, but back to Fraser, one of those underrated guys out there. He's doing a lot of this on his own dime. Any benefactors out there want to help a kid Send some cash to Frazier, he deserves it. Sure he has, been doing this series for a long time and doing really well this year in MX2, top 10 on that two-stroke Husqvarna. Uh, Wes, he didn't even have a mechanic, he rode his whole program by himself back to a replay at the start. One of the most underrated riders, buying even his own goggles, if you can believe it, that is lame. Dakota Alex, Fox KTM rider, getting some good support and a lot of great starts and great finishes. This kid's a contender. He has back to the battle for second place. The 36 of Frazier is, looks like he's freight training with the 17 of Dylan Wright and the four of Cole Thompson. Here's that corner that caused problems early. Now everybody's using inside and out. Oh, oh Thompson fires right into the back of Frazier. Holy mackerel. Carrying speed around the outside. Here comes Wright now, making life difficult for Thompson. No love lost between these Canadian riders. Thompson, the more established one, but Wright, really coming into his own these past three seasons in MX2 Pro, second year pro. Another great start for the 20 of Jess Pettis and the number 15 of Sean Moppenbeier on board with the 42. That's the Motor Van Black rider, JC Bouillard, who's back a little ways in the pack tabs. bouillard has been a good addition to the Motor Van Black riders and for our helmet cam, back up to the battle for second. On the outside is Thompson. We've seen him make passes here in the first photo. He's fast down that dropway, moves into second. He's only got Alex between him and Checkers, but now right on the outside through the Yamaha corner, making a move. Good defense for the 36 of Danny Frazier. I love that exit through the Yamaha corner. Very difficult inside and out, carrying speed as they double into the hit case corner. Oh, and Wright was so aggressive getting that inside line. This little connection right here is now for four. Solid pass for Dylan Wright. Now here comes 15, Little Moth around the outside. There's not really two good lines oh. there. Gets some <laughs> grief from Pettis and then pressures Fraser. Now Pettis looks like he's gonna get by on the inside. A three-way battle now around the outside. We've seen passes made. Good wow. defense for the two-stroke Husqvarna. Fraser is on the gas. Oh, and Moff just jumps his way through. It looks like both riders went down oh, yeah. in that Marin corner. The 36 of Fraser and the 50. Yeah, you see them oh. getting up in that bottom corner. So the 20 of Pettis picking up that Muffin by our gravy. So we get back to that Marin corner. You see Muff getting going and the 36 of Fraser. Well, Moff just came in so hot, cleaned them both out. Barky Worth making a play. He didn't even finish in the top. Oh, and Moff! Over the bars, traps on that double, triple step up, and he does not look well. It looks like the foot peg ripped his jerseys and flipped over on top of him, or something, maybe his handling bars or something. Let's have a look at it again on the win. He looked pretty good on the inside here. Big grooves and his right foot. That foot peg catches earth and just slows him down, so it gets landed on by the motorcycle, and the right foot peg cheat out into that rut, stymied his drive up and over the bars and got land faced. And Worth didn't have a great first moto, so this has been a tough day oh. for the Monster Energy Kawasaki team in both MX1 and MX2. Oh, he does not look good. Visibly shaking his dad's out there. I think his dad's saying, let's shut that program down. Here comes Muffin Diver on the outside, getting back after that crash. Looks like he has not, and he's working up on the 34 of Western Rosita, and this is for seven. I like Moff having the feet on the pegs through that whole section. Oh, no. Oh, Rosita hits that same run and loses his momentum, but he's up much quicker, a bit of a limp. Moffenbeier, of course, playing catch-up after his coming together with Davey Fraser. 
34 of Rosie gets up and running again. Loses a few spots, though. That kicker is very deceiving because Rosina saw Worth go down on that same line, and yeah. yet he takes it a couple laps later and goes down himself. Back to the battle for the lead. The 164 Fox KTM of Dakota Alex with that factory connection suspension in front. But Thompson oh. is so mature, so aggressive, and yet so smooth on this rough track. Thompson able to smooth out those rough pits. He's got such a unique style. I love the way he rides. Dakota Alex rides with a little bit more, say, flair or pizzazz. Looks like he's trying harder. There's that inside move, and Thompson oh, just steals it away. He is so bossy. He is the man in MX suit. I think when these other guys see that number four, the writing's on the wall. He's gonna come, he's gonna try at least to make that pass. To the 20 of Jess Pettis right now sitting in fifth place. He likes that spot, he wants to be a little bit closer to the lead battle. But getting back to that Thompson line, he could have cut even further on the inside, but no, he squared it off and took that front wheel away from Alex. And now the one center right goes inside on Alex. He may be a, a touch flustered after that pass, Ryan. Now two passes. Man, oh man, aggressive move for Dylan Wright. So good on him. What a pack of warriors we have at the front of this MX2 class. Love the way Wright scrubs, yeah. keeping that nose low. <laughs> and look at this move, just gets on the gas here, shuts the door, inside becomes outside. Wright saw him in the periphery, just had to roll out of the throttle. Oh my goodness, look at the ground he's made up on the number four of Cole Thompson. This is for the lead, Brian. We haven't seen an extended battle between these two pilots. It's been a lot of Thompson and Moffenbeyer. I love to see right in this situation. We've seen a lot of Thompson and Alice. Thompson had a nice lead and just started to back it off a bit towards the end of the race. And uh, the 17, the opposite, just keeping the throttle pin. Kind of like Gerke is uh, right. You know, when he gets his mind made up and he just knows how to charge to the front. So tenacious. And right now the confidence is brewing in right because yeah. we've seen him get much faster as we've gotten into the east. And look at the air time he's getting in the lines oh, around oh. the outside. He's challenging of course, Cole Thompson is in a position oh to take the championship. Thompson there, connect, goes up and over the berm. Travis, that puts Dylan Wright, MX 101, Yamaha out front. What a sweet move. Thompson that he had the inside and blocked it all the way into the TCX corner, but then both of them jumped out of the rut, but Wright was able to capitalize early and get back on and get inside. Here it is again. Blue Crew's got to be stoked with Wright. Thompson thinks he's got him handled here on the inside, under braking, trying to take him wide, and just <laughs> missed cues there and goes up over the berm. Wright connects a little faster with the traction. Gets out into first place, man. This is dynamic racing at the front of the pack. Of course, Thompson in a position to clinch that championship here in the second moto. So maybe a little bit of Wright winning the battle and Thompson wanting to win the war. No doubt about it. I love Thompson's defense in that corner, but just too choppy. He couldn't hold the blocker on to the 164. Dakota Alex getting his last lap flag. And Thompson is not letting this go. Actually, <laughs> when you think about it, you know Thompson. He wants to win every single moto down yeah. into this Cowie corner. Look how choppy it is, Brian. Dylan Wright looking good, holding court in the lead. Now they've got to go over this nice table. Now this is a good spot for passing on the inside. No. I don't think Thompson's got the mojo. No. We've seen him make moves there into this Marin corner. Look at the braking bumps going in there. That is naughty, ugly, and gross. He didn't have the approach coming into that inside line. A lot of guys carrying a lot more speed and then driving out. We've seen him do that before. He did it on Alex coming into the hit case corner. Boy, this is a very dynamic track, Brian. When you think about the elevation and how things change from the top to the bottom, I love this place. Oh, yeah. I love the crowd. Oh, my goodness, Thompson. Gorgeous English. <laughs> Just ditto your comment, man. This place is phenomenal. Yes. I love riding sand personally, and this just works into such a rider's track. It's really going to separate the men from the boys. Who's been training? Who's not? The strong will survive. And look at Dylan Wright. We've talked about him finding lines and able to smooth out these rough tracks. He's coming in to take the checkers. This will be the first win for Dylan Wright since the very first moto of the season. He has got to be stoked as he put the boots to what will be the champion in the series, Cole Thompson, Babs. To the Yamaha leaderboard, of course, Thompson just clinched it there. Wright wins it. Alex Pettis, Moffenbeier nodding on like Grundahl, Arsenal and Benny coming back. And then we'll see him after that crash. Tense. With the number 17 and the biggest win of his season so far, he hunted down and passed the number four of Cole Thompson. Dylan, there was a lot there for you. There was a lot of energy, a lot of charge, and a lot of resolve to get up there. The speed I've never seen before. Well done.
Oh, thank you very much. And obviously, that was a great moto for me. Got off to a decent start, and uh, Cole got around me quick. And I knew I just had to ride my own pace and not make any mistakes. And then I caught up to Alex, got around him, and then I just made a final push to try and get him at the end of the race. And, and I ended up doing it, and I'm so pumped. I mean, obviously, it's uh, one of my best rides of the year, and I'm happy to do it here in Quebec. With the number four, should I say the number one of Cole Thompson, who has secured the MX2 Championship. Congratulations, Cole. And a very interesting race, nonetheless, for the number 17. And you guys had a, a great battle out there. Congratulations. Yeah, no, like you said, it was a good battle uh, right to the end there. I think uh, kept everyone on their toes. I know I was kind of excited to have a good battle like that. Um, really the first moto that I've had a, a challenge. Um, you know, not being disrespectful of the riders. It's just usually when I got in the lead, I was comfortable and got up front. He caught me off guard and beat me. Um, um, overall, we won the championship. Going into the final round, it's going to be nice and relaxing. It's my home race, and uh, yeah, it's good. The team, team did their job, I did my job, and we came home with the number one play. Saverson Thompson, nice job on the series. To the series points after nine of 10. You can see in behind Thompson, a lot of riders still battling for top 10 national numbers in MX2. The MX2 class always delivers, and there's your top three here at round nine in Deschambeau. We've got Dakota Alex, Dylan Wright, and Cole Thompson with that number one UAZ. This is the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Mark Travers and the Brian Coster in the booth as we get set for MX1 Moto2. This is Motocross Alberton, Brian. Fans coming in in droves all week to see not only the Amateur National Championship, but also the big boys on Sunday as we see Rockstar Stella with that 30 board up. Love this pan of the line. MX1 Moto2 will be brought to you by Dunlop. Take your performance to the next level. The weather's been fantastic today, Brian, but remember we had that little twister roll through after the MX2 race. There was crap all over the place. <laughs> Banners and tents and Rain. people, kids, umbrellas. And let's get back to the MX1, boys. This is the final lord of the day on board with the big man. This is Tim Trombley. Sweet images. Look at Gerke just working at an excellent start up front by our regular players. Taylor Campuccini was pinched off from the inside. The rider from Barry. And look at Swanee up the inside. A good start as well as Meston. That's Psycho Works. Yamaha rider from Calgary, Alberta. Trombley's right in the thick of things. Coming through that Honda switchback section, we see our leader, the 118 at Davey Millsaps. He gets that second MX1 hole shot from Royal Distributing and the Triple Crown, Brian. And that equates to 1,200 bucks just for a pair of hole shots. So now Davey on a charge to win this and maybe get some sweet bonus money with a pair of wins, too. Back on board, the Motovan helmet cam with the 57 of Tim Trombley coming into that left-hander. Oh, oh, and it looks like Millsaps is down on the inside, Brian. Looks like he had a little slide oh. back on the bike quickly. Oh. oh, my goodness, is he back on the throttle, though, as he quads out into the KTM a Cherby's roller and down the hill. Boy, he got back on it quick. <laughs> I think he's kissing that electric start button right now. And what a recovery for Millsap. Slides right out and gets right back on Trombley. Here comes the 800. Mike Alessi making moves on Trombley on the Monster Energy Kawasaki. Fastest qualifier, troubles in that first moto. Nice to see Mike back in the game. You better believe it. And that puts the number 11 of Kevin Benoit, the homeboy, factory KTM in the lead. That's where he wants to be. Millsap's a little ways back as he's made oh. a couple of passes, unless he gets by Trombley. Oh, oh then goes Jeez. on course, Brian, and goes full header up the side of that tabletop. Oh, dude, I saw him go a little wide there. You don't have much room there. Fans are getting roosted from Alessi going off track. Meanwhile, the 118 making some passes. There's Clayson. He's also a big dude. Uh-oh. Look what Alessi has to do to right that thing. Wow. He has to flip it around. And I tell you, when the bike's up on its side like that, it's hard to straddle the bike and access that kickstarter. So Alessi doing what he has to do. There's the big hawking jump right there. That is a huck and a half. Look at our top eight coming through, just rolling and busting out that big jump. Surprised by watching that, it was a big deal this morning, but it really is it to a replay of the start, Brian. The 118 of Davey Millsaps gets that Royal Distributing, holy shit, and the Triple Crown, but Benoit just about lost it coming around that inside. A huge slide for Benoit, and here is the recovery. Look how quickly he's up and going. Probably kept the engine running, falling on the clutch side, so. And there is Alessi just going oh. off, and that's what happens when you land on the side of the track like that. Such a talented, skillful rider. One little miscue, and it's Urse over tea kettle and regrouping. Looks like Clayson has fallen off on this little cluster. This is for third place. We see Benoit in the lead, Metcalf in second, coming in this Honda section. Millsaps on the outside. Does he have the Kirkman? No good defense. 
Jerky goes inside. Let's watch them as they come through this rhythm section. I love that little scrub, though, Brian. Oh, so gorgeous to watch motocross racers on this track. Great night work for Gerke, but it's Millsaps with speed on the inside, but not to be right now. Gerke carrying on the outside. But look at Millsaps, makes it happen anyway. That thing is unbelievable. That factory bike purported to have maybe some traction control. It's the rumor through the pits. They got some new technology from California. He's riding Dungey's bike. Look at the number 11, Kevin Benoit. Fans all over this track urging him on. Win it for us, Kevin. As we get back to the 118 of Millsaps, I do not see the number three of Brett Metcalf. Gurky in third place, checking Cowie corner. Yes, Clayson on the inside. Oh my goodness, oh. Oh, that cat with an issue as he rolls off the side of the track on that little tapered edge. Full enduro ride there for Medi, and what a recovery as that thing just whips out of his hands. And now, a sore sight on the track, the 27 of Sean Robinson. He is down. Mechanic there talking to him. at least he's coherent and talking. Right, getting pushed off the track. Oh, there is the backboard, not looking good, T. An absolutely wicked part of the track, Whoa. Ryan, because it's a huge launcher. And you've talked about the speeds yeah. that they carry down yeah. into the valley. As we get back to the 118 oh. of Millsaps and the number one of Matt Gurky, who's not letting him go. It looks like they've got Robson off the track. That's a good sign. Man, see the top two soar down there. Not a pretty spot for Robinson to go down. Great speeds, great height, but it's this man, the hometown hero, the darling. Kevin Benoit, partisan fans here pulling for their French Canadian rider, and he is drifting away from the rest of the pack right now. Millsap's gonna wow. have this A plus game if he's gonna catch this man right now because Benoit is riding the wheels off that Kazoo. And with that second place in the first moto, he's set up to take the overall, which is pretty yeah. exciting. And the one thing I like about coming to a Quebec track is there's fans everywhere. Remember, anything goes in Quebec. They're lying the fences, they're up in the trees, they're taking <laughs> care of business. Gurky has caught up to Millsaps, Brian. Wow, and Millsaps again is leading the championship like teammate Thompson who clinched. These fans wow. love the French Canadian oh. riders, but they love the Americans. They love riders from all around Canada. Look at the line for Gurky on the inside, working it. Gurky coming up over top of that tabletop using the inside, Brian. We've talked about this one before. Oh my, carrying speed. He makes a beautiful pass on the 118. We haven't seen too many people pass Millsaps. Not at all, and Gurky is one rider. And wow. look at Gurky G out in there. He is possessed, different styles, different lines. Here is the move. Gurk comes up on the inside, pre-planning. Sweeping the outside is Millsaps, but then just taking that line away and parking <laughs> himself in front. And now when you go down into this next left, if you're not on the main line, you ain't nothing, because where Millsaps is, it is horrible. But look at the number three, that's Metcalf. He is down. That is the same jump that took out Worth and Rosine in that first one. So causing issues, and must have been on the inside, because that's oh. where he rolled off the bike into that Rockstar banner. We'll have to check back on one of our series favorites, the number three of Brett Metcalf. Right now, our leader, the number one KTM Thorback rider of Kevin Benoit in the league. Checking. There's Gurky in second. And where is Millie? Which, oh, now the gap is starting to open up. So Millie probably thinking championship again here, rolling off. He doesn't want to go over his head. And let's face it, Gurky is a phenomenal fast sand rider, so it's no shame to be beat. There's Metcalf being attended to. Nice to see him up and cohere, but he definitely rung his bell. Metcalf is tough as they come. You know it's serious when he's not jumping back on that Rockstar Yamaha and getting back to business. His job, his office is riding that motorcycle. And in fantastic shape, so you're right. Nice to see him up with the helmet off. That means that everything in the top part of his body is okay to the number six of Kay Clayson and the number five of Tyler Medallia, who did not get a great start in this moto again, Brian, and is battling back. He's been a different rider since he got on that 450 and we were in Pleasant Valley. He's been amazing. We talk about Gurky having the ability to come back from a poor start, but let's not forget Medallia. Same deal, he's come back from bad starts all the way up into that top 10 and top five at times. Lots of precautions with Metcalf, team boss Andre Lauren on the outside, helping with the stretcher mechanic, Scott Dong, right in there as well, helping the paramedics here in Quebec. Great paramedics and a great medical staff on hand. To our leader, the number 11 of Kevin Benoit, who's been in the lead since, what, corner eight of the first lap, still doing that giant hook on his last lap. Fans going crazy, they know what to expect. They're there is his dad, Jean-Marc Benoit, with the chainsaw. There's been air horns, chainsaws all over this place today. It's been just <laughs> off the hizzy. This whole place has been reminiscent of a GP in Europe or the motocross destinations. There is Benoit, takes that second moto win 
That is the overall on the day over Davey Millsap. First photo win of the year and first overall coming in to hug Mechanic Matthew. What a treat for the French fans in Moto2. It's been many years since I've seen a scene like this in Canadian motocross. This place is going nuts. Kevin Benoit wins the second moto and takes the overall. Let's get to our Yamaha leaderboard and see our top 10. Benoit, Gerke, Millsap, your top three. Kate Clayson finishing fourth. Vidalia had a problem. He ended up sixth. Trombley fifth. Swanson, Peters, Berger, and Keelan messed it. Take it, Fabs. Just blowing the fans here at Deschambeau away with a first overall in the strength of 2-1, beating Davy Millsaps. Kevin, your first MX1 victory. Home soil, home province. You got to be just elated. Oh man, there's so many emotions right now. Like, it's it's just so special, and, and especially here in front of uh, of my fans here and family and friends and everybody. It's uh, it's really special. So, I mean, it was an awesome race. I was I didn't get a whole shot again, but I was behind Navy and. He gave it to me on the first lap, he went down, I went around him, and after that I had 35 minutes uh, to go, and I had to stay up front, and uh, yeah, it was it was tough. Talk about a gnarly track, or know you're in shape, you love Gopher Dunes. Must have played into your favor, this rough, bumpy sand track. Yeah, it did, and uh, that's what I was trying. I, I thought maybe Kevin would get tired, so I was trying to push, but he didn't get tired, he held on, so it was good of him. Yeah. What a race day here in Deschambeau. Let's get to our total points after nine of 10 in MX1. Millsap's commanding lead. Alessi down to fifth, Cade Clayson in sixth, Kyle Medaglia, Colton Passiotti falling out, Nesten and Burger Fab. Nice job, team race fans. Remember to go to the CMRC Facebook page and like it, and mxnationals.ca for all the goodies. Nice job, Phoenix. Look at the scene here in Quebec. You have been watching the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals, presented by Motovan.com, the source for your power sports parts and accessories. For Mark Stalley, Brass, and Brian Coster, I'm Mark Travers. Congratulations to Kevin Benoit and Cole Thompson. And don't let anyone tell you that motocross isn't a tough sport.